the Atsumori Picture Scroll, based on the medieval story Son of Atsumori, tells what happens after the death of Taira no Atsumori in the Genpei Wars. His son is brought up by the holy man Honen and succeeds in meeting both his mother and the spirit of his late father. The Heike armies, defeated at the Battle of Ichinotani, begin to flee, boarding ships waiting in the offing. One of the Heike warriors, Taira no Atsumori, is late to board and alone rides his horse into the sea, desperately pursuing the ships. A warrior from the opposing Genji side, Kumangaya Naozane, in quest of military glory, sees him and calls out. You out in the offing, I see that you are a man of high rank. For shame that you should turn your back to an enemy. Hearing this, Atsumori calmly turns his horse around and fights Naozane in the offing. In no time at all, Atsumori is forced from his horse. He says, take this my flute and this my robe and should any of my family survive, pass them on. And, having left these keepsakes with Naozane, his head is cut off by the older warrior. Naozane, who has a son about the same age as Atsumori, realizes the evanescence of life and leaves the world to become a lay monk and disciple of Honen, founder of the Pure Land School of Buddhism. From time to time, he takes out the keepsakes entrusted to him by Atsumori and laments that he has not been able to meet those to whom they should be transmitted. In the meantime, Atsumori's wife has given birth to a son, but, afraid that he will be killed if it is discovered that he is of Heike blood, she reluctantly abandons him. Just then, Hornen and his retinue come upon the baby. Looking at the baby, Hornen says, abandoned, wrapped in a robe with a sword by his side, he can be no common child. This must mean that we are meant to rescue him. Hornen takes the baby back with him and gives him to a nursemaid. The child grows into a clever boy who has but one regret, that he has no father or mother. When he is about eight years old, he is so overcome with sadness that he refuses even water to drink. Steadily his condition worsens until he is only barely alive. Shocked, Hornen tells the story to those who have gathered to hear him preach. Atsumori's wife steps forward, and mother and son are reunited. Then, Hornen recalls that Naozane has Atsumori's keepsakes, and he is summoned. Kumagaya Naozane is overjoyed and produces the keepsakes, saying, I knew it, this young man is the living image of Atsumori. Since this is his true descendant, I present him with these. As they behold Atsumori's flute and robe, all are overwhelmed with tears. The young man now has his father's keepsakes, but his longing for him only increases. One day, while praying at the Kamo Shrine, a divine revelation tells him to go to Ono in Ikuta in the province of Setsu. And so the young man travels alone to Ichinotani. As thunder roars and lightning strikes, he asks for shelter at a small cottage, is invited in by a man, and falls asleep using the man's lap as his pillow. As he dreams, the man appears reveals that he is the young man's father 
and writes a poem on the sleeve of his kimono. How ephemeral, to wake from a dream of him I so rarely see. The self I return to is not the self I was before. The young man wakes up to discover that all around is wasteland and that his pillow has become moss-covered bones. He gathers them up, carries them back to the capital, and soon takes vows. With his mother, who has also taken vows, he spends his days praying for the repose of the souls of the Heike dead. <laughs> 